Hey, welcome back to Wanderlusting Lawyer. Today I have another video in my gear I love for the for hiking the Camino de Santiago series. Um, I suppose this isn't necessarily gear, but actually something that during my first Camino I learned was absolutely essential for my first aid kit. I have talked about it in my The Truth About Blisters when hiking the Camino de Santiago video, um, but I just wanted to make a quick focus video um, about it here. So you can guys can sometimes find this information in a more targeted way. As always, I will look, include links below um, for the products that I purchased and that I guess I can vouch for at least that work for me. Um, if they are from Amazon, it'll be an affiliate link. I make an extremely, extremely small amount from your purchase, but I appreciate the support for the channel. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about what for me is the number one essential in my blister care uh, pack. Uh, it might not be what you think. It's actually doo -doo -doo, corn cushions, corn cushions. I didn't have any of these. I had heard nobody talk about them. Um, and I was someone that definitely did a good amount of research before my first Camino. And I was suffering from really, really bad pinky pinch blisters. I've talked about this a few times before, but a pinch blister different from a blister that's caused by friction, which are most blisters. I get pinch blisters on my pinky toes. Cause so if this is my foot, my pinky toe kind of turns on its side. So when I walk, it's actually compressing like this, like, <laughs> like the fleshy part is kind of compressing down being sandwiched if you will, if you will. And that creates pretty bad blisters. Uh, I avoided it for two weeks on the Camino and then had a really long day where I get lost, got lost. And I think that's where it came. Uh, I think if I were to limit my days to like 25 kilometers or less with good rest days, which I'm going to try sometime, I may be able to be one of those people that brags about being blister free, but alas, I was not. And they killed, um, I tried other solutions like Compete and I'm gonna make a video about Compete at some point, but like didn't work for me because it didn't relieve the pressure, right? Like it's it's one thing to allow to, when you have a blister that needs protection from rubbing, but when compression is your issue, uh, I didn't find Compete to work for me. So what was wonderful about these, I actually saw them for the first time in I think it was Carrion de las Condes, de los Condes, something like that, somewhere in the meseta, that's when I was struggling the most. What's wonderful about these is that they create probably about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, maybe a little less of a barrier when you're walking. So that as you're walking, it's the surface of this squishy uh, corn cushion donut that is pressing down that gives protection to your blister. Um, you can double up on them, which is great. Um, they also like, if this hole is too small, you can bring, I always recommend a tiny pair of scissors in your Camino kit. Um, just cut them and just cut them and then shape them around the size of your blister. Um, it's a, yeah, it takes a little bit of time, but to give your blisters this cushion, uh, I have two sizes here, but you can see I used uh, several of them on my last Camino. Um, these are an absolute essential in my Camino blister kit. Um, I just think, you know, especially when you have blisters on the underside of your foot, right, where there's not much that's going to help. This is something that allows for at least the first time your foot goes down, something else to absorb the pressure around it. So these made my <laughs> blisters, I suppose, walkable, and I will always bring them on my Caminos. Hope that is helpful to you guys, and I'll see you soon with another video. Buen Camino.